There is that guy that is tall, blonde, with blue eyes, the perfect representation of French legacy. And that girl that looks like Pocahontas. Me. In today's video, I would like to share the struggles of interracial dating and why you should probably be racist. Now, if you feel hung up by any mean, please click off the video because this is not for the faint of heart. Thank you. So, because I like to be precise about origins, this man was 85% French and 15% German. And when we met very randomly at the time, he went back to school to become a French diplomat when I started my very first business. We got good attraction going that got our conversation flow. And I remember the last time that we met, it was in that Parisian garden. And I saw the beauty of a moment, the beauty of a connection between two descents of the empire of colonies. I saw a son of the settlers and a daughter of the colonies, who instead of fighting in war, we had the opportunity of making peace and even more, maybe making love. Now we had very heated conversations because of our different perspectives inherited from different cultures. But in the end, you know what? I loved our exchange. I saw growth. I have learned from him personally. And so I have felt enriched by our friendship. But unfortunately, that relationship couldn't go further than a friendship that he eventually ended. As a good servant of the state, and I think anyone who views himself as a citizen of his country, proud of his nation and culture, you can sense the weight and responsibility of carrying the legacy of your own culture on. When I see this guy, he had impeccable knowledge in so many disciplines, from art, French gastronomy, European politics, European laws, economics. I admired him for his sense of duty and respect up to valuing his legacy, the culture where he comes from and that made him, because culture is wealth. From centuries of technical scientific progress, of tactical intelligence and strategy to become one of the most powerful countries on the international scene. Painting techniques, refining tastes and colors in gastronomy. Culture is wealth indeed. And when you think of a child, whew, you know, can you imagine a child that is born Mexican from two Mexican parents and that by default will have a good layer, a good foundation of confidence just because of his origin? Culture can build confidence and pride from the get-go, and this is powerful. So if I can protect it, I will. And about the physical attributes, because they are also part of culture. Either it's the Asian slanting eyes, the slick hair, the dark ebony skin from Africa, or the very rare green and blue eyes. This is beautiful. There is beauty in diversity that can only remain if we protect the uniqueness in each culture. And so wanting to preserve your physical characteristics, wanting to date a certain type, having dating preferences, it's actually valuing the richness and the beauty in the human biodiversity. And I say this because we tend to view biodiversity like something animal and plant-wise, when actually human being is part of it. And also, I think that it just answers to a very natural animal instinct to preserve species. And I say this because I had this guy friend, same, tall, dark haired, blue eyes, who was very far from being racist because we were really good friends, but I saw that he had dating preferences. He only dated girls who were blonde with blue eyes. And that is totally fine, okay? If you are Latino and you only like to date Latino because you are proud of your culture, of your character, go for it. If you are clear skin and you only like clear skin girls, go for it. If you are blonde and can only date blonde people, that's fine too. And so why did I choose to film this video today? Because I want us to change our view on racism. I think that we have this common definition, very extremist of it, where it is black versus white. Even further, racism is the whites are better than the blacks or better than the Latinos. And in dating, it can become like, oh, that guy. If he only dates blonde girls with blue eyes, he must be a racist. When actually, he simply has a dating preference. 
you know you can have friends from other races and choose to date no one but inside your race and so racism exists on a spectrum and so i wanted to film this video for two types of people first for those who maybe you kind of feel ashamed and you secretly hide because you know you have a dating preference and i want to tell you i want to reassure you that it is okay and i get your mindset you are doing nothing wrong to me you are really protecting from an animal instinct and you are really valuing the richness and the beauty of your own culture second for those who may feel hung up hung up by the race because maybe you are mixed race or you are multicultural like me because although i am 100 percent Malagasy, i was raised in france and so i tend to consider myself as a mixed race person and so i want us to show tolerance and maybe even support those people instead of feeling envy and jealousy because they are protecting their genes and heritage. And I'm saying this because personally, as 1% Malagasy from one ethnicity, I felt prey for jealousy and sabotage from some family members. And honestly, this is very sad for them. And so let's show support to those people, honestly, because to me, they're really protecting human biodiversity. If you really value the planet, protect its biodiversity in entirety. In conclusion, there is so much to say about that topic. And I have created another video about why interracial or multicultural dating sucks. So go watch it next. And if you are mixed race, you feel compromised, which you have been by modern society or you are multicultural again like me, know that there is one key, one solution for both of those types of people. And if you'd like to know which one it is in order to feel more comfortable in your race or in your own skin, please subscribe to my newsletter, the Modern Dating Matrix newsletter, so I come back to you by email so we can discuss further how we can solve it because I guarantee you that I have the solution. I hope that you like this video. Please, if so, give it a thumb up and also subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I see you in the next video. Bye.